Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Microgreens are packed with nutrition, four to 40 times more vitamin C, K, E, and beta carotene than the adult vegetable. They're easy to grow and they're delicious. I'll show you how. Microgreens are in the middle between sprouts, where you're eating the sprouted seed root, and all the baby greens which are harvested at about a month of age, and are typically three to four inches tall. Microgreens are grown with media and are eaten when they're about two inches tall and have their first true leaves. There's a wide variety of different plants that make delicious microgreens. Check out our blog to find a list of seeds that make great microgreens. To grow microgreens, you'll need seeds, and bulk seeds are a better buy than seed packs. A seedling flat, a seeding mat like this baby blanket, or a soilless seed starting media like this quick root, and a sprayer. You can use any kind of tray that's wide and shallow. I'm using these seed starting trays, but they must be sterilized. Be sure and clean them and sterilize them, as well as sterilizing your soil. Clean your flats with water and get all the grime off and then spray them down with white vinegar and let them air dry. This way you know there's no nasty fungus or bacteria on your microgreen flats. To sterilize your potting soil, spread it into a baking tray between two and four inches thick. Cover it with aluminum foil and bake at 180 degrees for 45 minutes. Poke in a thermometer to make sure the soil reaches 180 but doesn't go over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. It's best to seed one species per flat for even growth. There are two methods for planting microgreens. One is using a soilless potting mix, and the other is using a baby blanket, which is basically a grass mat. Either line your flat with a damp baby blanket, or add three quarters to one inch of your damp, soilless medium, like the Peaceful Valley Quick Root that we've sterilized. Seed densely, but not so dense that the plants get leggy. Getting the right seeding density takes some practice. You can either seed diffusely or in rows. After seeding, you can cover the seeds with a little bit of soil or unbleached paper towels or a cotton kitchen towel. After covering the flat, you want to spray either the towel or the paper towel or the soil with a little bit of water. Set them in a sheltered place with a temperature of about 60 to 7 degrees Fahrenheit. And then your greens will be ready to harvest in one to three weeks. Keep your trays moist. And most of the greens won't need any fertilizer, but some of the slow growing greens like carrots and celery could use a little bit of help with some liquid fish. And that's at half the dilution rate. You can harvest microgreens when the first true leaves appear and when they're about two inches tall. Harvest in the morning on the day you plan to use them. They can be harvested easily with scissors or these long bladed snips. If your microgreens are indoors, it's easy to snip them as you need them. If you grew them on a baby blanket, you can just lift the baby blanket out and turn it upside down and then snip off the greens. This method is used most often by commercial farmers. Just wash the microgreens gently and then you can enjoy them on soups, salads, sandwiches, virtually anything. Another great thing to do with your microgreens is to juice them with this Weston Wheatgrass Juicer. For more information on microgreens with recipes and tips, check out this book, Microgreens, How to Grow Nature's Own Superfood. So grow some nutrition and grow organic for life.